Well, hi there, everybody. You're traveling with me, Jack, and of course, my beautiful heavenly wife, Pam. And welcome to the Pine Belt of Mississippi. Yeah, that's the part of Mississippi in the southern half of the state that we're located today in the beautiful community of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I'm actually walking here along the campus of Southern Mississippi University, which of course is kind of the crown jewel of this area. It's a beautiful, dynamic, growing university. But Hattiesburg has a lot to offer. And on the surface, you may say, well, I don't know. It's just a town in Southern Mississippi. Well, it's more than a town. It's actually a pretty good sized metro area approaching 100,000 people. It's also got a low cost of living with ample housing available. I've been looking around a little bit. I've seen some homes from as little as under a hundred thousand to you might go up to a half a million, but I'm going to tell you, you can settle in at a price point in the mid twos and have a really, really nice place. Another surprising fact about Hattiesburg is it's not just the University of Southern Mississippi that's here, which of course boasts Division I football and all the big time sports that come with that. They've got live theater as well, but there's also another university in town called William Carey University. You'll want to check that out as well. Guess what? There's a zoo here. You're saying, a zoo? Yes, indeed. They've got a zoo. And they've also got, get this, a professional soccer team. Now, it's kind of a semi-pro team, but it's in the developing stages and shows a lot of growth. Now, in addition to being in the Pine Belt, they also call Hattiesburg the hub city. You might be asking why. Well, it's because four major highways actually converge right here in the Hattiesburg area. Weather-wise, well, it's a warm, humid climate for about mm, nine months out of the year, but at least it is warm year-round, and they get their fair share of rain. In fact, the average is around 60 inches, but that's why, of course, it's beautiful, lush, and green all across the region. They can get some severe weather. They've had a history of some terrible tornadoes that have come through here, but again, that's not an everyday occurrence. It's not even an every year occurrence, but you do want to be, well, storm ready, as they say in this part of the world. And this is a good news. You're only about an hour and 15 minutes away from some beautiful beaches along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Now that also means during hurricane season, you got to keep an eye to the waters for that potential development as well. Overall though, this is a beautiful city. Lots of shopping, lots of restaurants, and one of the best things about Mississippi is the people. They're incredibly friendly and welcoming. So how would I rate Hattiesburg on a scale of one to five? If you're looking for a new home, I'd probably give it a high four. It seems to have just about everything you could want. It's also got convenience to a couple of major cities. If you need that, you're only a little over an hour to New Orleans. You can be in Jackson, Mississippi, maybe not so-called major city, but you can be there in a little over an hour as well. And as I mentioned, a little over an hour, you're at the Gulf Coast. What more do you need? But you know, you might not even go out of town. You'll just stick right here in town because there's plenty to see and do around Hattiesburg. So that's our little brief overview of this nice southern city located again in the Pine Belt of Southern Mississippi. Until we see you next time, hey, guess what? Be sure, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, anyone you know, be sure and subscribe to our channel. That's Traveling with Jack and Pam. Also check out my podcast, The Jack Church Show, and stick around for the closing credits. Until we see you next time, have a great day. And you know what we always say, make it a better tomorrow. Bye now from Hattiesburg.